After three long, exhausting days of travel, we arrive at our destination, the Samurai Beach Bungalows, in the heart of the Australian bush. Samurai is suitable for a wide cross-section of guests with rooms catering from bunk style to deluxe doubles with en-suites. We're with the Samurai Beach Bungalows and Russ Banback, you work with the, uh, the folks there. That's right, we manage the place and also uh, we run our own four-wheel drive adventures. And we're driving, well, tell folks what we're going to do here. Uh, today we're going to head out into the sand dunes, some uh, amazing landscape out there. We're going to four-wheel drive around some of the hills and we'll head to the top of one of those hills and we'll do some sandboarding, sand surfing, sand sledding and see what sort of crazy action we can get up to. Wow. Sweat and sand, it's all good. Wicked. <laughs> That's gold door. A little board here. No, I don't want to push. Okay, so we don't hold the handle, eh? We just, just... Okay. Okay, put them on the little stick board. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That was cool. That was cool, folks. Where are we? Going up some Three, two, one, go! Oh! Oh! Holy s! <laughs> oh my ass! Oh! 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 Where the hell is my wireless? Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> oh, I hit my cranium bone. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> uh. Uh. Whoa! Keep your guitars in tune. We'll be right back with the fishing musicians. <laughs> yeah. You're watching the fishing musicians. Welcome back to The Fishing Musicians. It's Glenn, your host, and this guy is my host outfitter, and he simply goes by the name Didge. I wonder why. <laughs> the gray-headed flying fox, Australia's largest bat. Hey, you stay out of my hair, I'll stay out of yours. Hey, I don't fly very much, but I don't like this guy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was a peacock attack. What was that? <laughs> it was a peacock attack. If you can't find him handsome, you can find him funny. Well, it's time to get out of here. That fella's an ass. While in the Port Stephen region, we highly recommend you take the Imagine boat cruises. I have done this three times with Jennifer and never been skunked with an amazing trip. And it just so happens that this is where we met Ditch. Our original outfitter fell ill upon our arrival, so we had no one to fish with. We went on the boat tour, talking to Ditch. He said he loves fishing, and of course, is a great musician. Three of them. Three of them, oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow, look at that. Wow, there's an awful lot of wows, folks. Some kind of Australian parrot or a big echo around here. And being as cheesy as the wow sound, consider that we are from Bathurst where it is minus 20 right now, so I'm going top shelf with the wow. Here's bottlenose dolphins. That's right, estuary bottlenose dolphins. Okay. There's two types. Yep. The ones that live inside the bay, estuary bottlenose, and the offshore bottlenose, which are much bigger. Yeah, because I noticed those were smaller than what you would notice seeing them offshore or whatever. And you say there's a hundred of them that are resident to the... Uh... 100 live inside the bay in Port Stevens. And they, they come out from time to time, go fishing around the point. Yeah. But pretty much that's their home. That's why they're smaller. No big predators, no big currents. And they've got a pretty charmed light. But their offshore cousin yeah. is much more robust, bigger waves, bigger currents, much larger predators. Oh my gosh, look at that! 
Folks, we're in Australia with the fishing musicians, man. Look at the dolphins. Can they jump and touch me? The Imagine Boat Tours offer their guests an amazing experience on their huge catamaran boat, and you will not be skunked seeing wildlife, including the huge humpback whale. Up, 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 up. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's a the tail. Oh, why does he do that? We almost had the tail, folks. I think they're uh, they're running out of steam. They have no energy to lift their tail or jump. It's the first time in the history of the Earth that these whales will not jump, folks. I want to be free. Our trip down under Fly Australia away. is all but finished. We have one more night stay, and then it's back to Canada. Port Stevens, once again, was host to some of the most amazing sights that you've seen. There's no wonder they call it the Blue Water Paradise and the dolphin and whale watching capital of Australia. It is located only 50 kilometers north of Newcastle on the New South Wales north coast of Australia and is a leisurely two and a half hour drive along the F3 freeway from Sydney. Pristine and unspoiled waterways and over 25 golden sandy beaches. Eco diverse marine and national parks and spectacular bushwalking. There are tons of places to stay. We recommend the Samurai Beach bungalows and lots of places to eat as well. I want to be free. Fly away. Freedom. We want to be free. Fly away. The last leg of our adventure sees us back in Sydney for two nights. Just chilling out, checking out the sights, and doing a little jamming with the Aboriginals. Sydney was officially created a city in 1842. The Harbour's Bridge was created in 1932, and the Opera House in 1973. Well, the end of another amazing show with the Fishing Musicians. My name is Glenn Ferguson, your host, and as you can see, we're standing behind one of the most famous structures in all of the world, the Sydney Opera House. This whole show would not have been possible without the help of the folks at the Samurai Beach Bungalows. Mark and Sandy, thanks so much. Russ and Angie for taking care of us while we were there. Thank you very much. Didge, the official didgeridoo fishing musicians in Port Stevens. What an awesome day we had and, and a great time jamming with him. And also the Imagine Boat Tours folks in Port Stevens and Greg and Jojo Burke for showing us around Sydney, Australia. Until next time, keep the lines tight, conserve our waters, and keep the peace, folks.